Technology contributes to sustainability. By using technology to better the processes we use, we're able to preserve resources so that future generations can have access to these resources as well. By increasing effectiveness and profitability in a business, technology allows a business to be more profitable. In other words, the business makes more money, so the business has extra cash to expand productivity or to invest in increasing the skills base that the firm has. Technology helps us produce a better quality product at a lower price, which means that even poor people can afford to purchase good quality products. The improvement of skills transfer through greater use of technology brings more skilled people into the workforce, fueling greater technological growth and greater innovation. Now, when a country advances technologically to a level where it can export now export its technology, as what happened to Japan and the United States during the 1970s and the 1980s, the high level of production fuels faster technological growth through greater innovation. If South Africans can succeed in skills transfer and innovation, we can reach a level where we now export our technology to other countries and therefore grow our economy. Some successes in South Africa include the Creepy Crawley and the world's first oil to coal refinery by Sassol here in South Africa. Let's go to activity two, where you're going to take out a piece of paper and write the name of any particular technology that you can think of. Then you're going to describe this technology to your peers and they have to guess the name you've written on your piece of paper. See you after the activity. That was fun, wasn't it? Can you see that sometimes, as soon as you start explaining something, people know exactly what you're talking about? Now we have time for one final question. Asanda, let's hear it. Hey Robin, how are you doing? Fine, thank you. And you? I'm very good, thank you. So Robin, I want to know about you. Tell me about yourself. Well, I like um, being with my friends. I like listening to music and watching TV. Okay, and who's your favorite artist, music artist? Asha. Asha. Oh, nice. So you obviously dance to the songs, eh? Stop time. <laughs> so tell me your email's question for us. Um, how can technology improve the lives of poor people? And that's such an important question because we have a huge population of poor people in SA, don't we? Let's see if they can help us out. Technological advances have been made across many fields, mostly benefiting businesses and the economy. But where technology makes a real impact is in disadvantaged communities. Now, some technology, some innovations, are aimed at alleviating the chores, the labor, out of the poor people's lives. In Africa, people in the poorer sector have to labor hard to have access to water. The invention of the Q drum changed all of this dramatically. It's the use of a drum and a longitudinal shaft to bring out water. Alternatively, a rope can be pulled through the donut shape of the device to pull out water to the surface, making this chore relatively simpler than what it was. South Africa has plenty of sunshine, so in the rural areas where people didn't have access to electricity, we can use solar power or the sun's energy to heat ovens or to boil water. Another way of generating electricity, as seen on the west coast of South Africa, is through wind turbines, in which are generating electricity cheaply for the poorer communities there. Because most South Africans have access to proper sanitation, the Mvula Trust has focused on this and has developed VIPs, ventilated, improved pit toilets. Technology benefits the poor even in education. The material developed and supplied by the Learning Channel makes use of the VICO system, or the video in, knowledge out system, where a school or school students can connect their computers to a central computer that has the core information. We move on to look to activity three, where we're going to see two ways that technology can improve the lives of poor people.
Technologies like the wind-up radio and the cell phone chargers help marginalized communities that don't have access to electricity to keep in touch with the rest of the world. It also saves them money as they don't have to travel to buy batteries. That's all we have time for today, unfortunately. From me, your host, Aubrey, I hope you understood or got an insight as to how technology impacts on the economy and on our everyday lives. Join us for the next lesson where we're going to look at the managerial, financial and knowledge skills of the economy. Goodbye, Asanda, and goodbye, the grade eights. Well, guys, that's it for today's lesson. I hope you guys are happy because I know I am. What about you? Cool. I'll see you guys in the next lesson. Bye. Thank you.